Welcome to my move review on the hunt. Oh no, I said the hunt. Okay, well, so the hunt is a story about the these actor, these like people who uh, lose job and then like they get kidnapped. And then these like people who are like actors just like hunt them down by like just shooting, hunting them as for sports. But the whole thing. But until they figured out the whole thing was a joke. So, basically what they had to do was just try to survive. And then, like, try to kill this lady who's the bad guy. And then that's just basically all I can figure. So, it's like just basically kind of a bit of a horror movie. It's like usually all bloody violent. Like, all like, I don't know, Quentin Tarantino stuff. I'm not sure. So, my thoughts on the hunt, I mean, it's fine, it's gory, but it wasn't really that gory, like, it wasn't that bloody, like, like, I did this, oh, uh, oh, uh, but I just didn't feel much entertain out of it, like, like, let me show you some gory movies for an example, like, maybe I could tell you some gory movies for an example, like, uh, Death Proof, Quentin Tarantino, like, you see a leg rip off. Like, that's bloody, and you go, oh, and you feel much smile into it. Like, I did leave some smiles, but I just didn't seem to get into it that much. And then the character is just like, you're going to just, like, get confused out of, like, the whole, like, character, like, out of the ones that every time somebody gets shot of the hunt, like, like, you're going to be like, Oh, these these characters did. Okay, they're dead. Or like, oh, this lady seems cool. Did okay, she's dead. Like, the girl who was like the robbery assassin, the snowball. She seems okay, but I just didn't like how this whole hunting thing was just all a joke. It just seemed kind of dumb and stupid. So. I mean, I don't hate this movie, it's not a bad movie, it was just, wasn't really that good, like, it was okay, like, I liked the violent part, the violent parts, the viol the violence in, out of all of it, I mean, I liked the, like, the, probably kind of bit, a little bit of the soundtrack music, uh, the characters were just all nothing, and then the story didn't do anything much. But the cinematography was okay. The score just did fine, I guess. But if you want to watch better violent movies, maybe watch, like, I don't know, uh, let me see here. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, maybe just because of the ending, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, probably Zombieland or Death Proof or Logan. Those are, like, better violent movies you should prefer watching more. So, and then the girl fighting at the end was pretty brutal. So, that's going to be all. I'm going to give... I'm going to give The Hunt a... A 5 out of 10 and a B minus. I mean, I almost gave it a C plus. But the violence just seemed kind of been entertaining. But never mind. I'm just going to give The Hunt a... 5.3 out of a 10 and a C plus because like the violence just seemed pretty graphic and brutal like how it was like well like with the visual effects or something but there's nothing going to be really much for it and I do want to also tell you since I didn't tell you that much of the coronavirus movie delays maybe I want to tell you my thoughts on that too so so with my thoughts on these delays like Mulan, Fast 9, New Mutants, Antlers, Escape Room 2, Peter Rabbit 2, uh, Quiet Place 2. There's been a lot of delays everywhere. Like, I know it's going to be all pissing you off because of the coronavirus. So, it's like, usually, everyone would seem anticipated on this. Like... No Time to Die is also one. Like, people were kind of, were very excited about it when it's James Bond's last... Ja no, no, it's when it's Daniel Craig's last James Bond movie. Like, you maybe want to see how it goes. 
but it, then like it's moved back, you're going to all seem depressed, angry, and pissed off about this. Or with Mulan, you're going to probably, you, you probably heard how the reactions are. It's supposed to be like the best live, best live action since the original like animation. Like, and I, you've probably heard Mulan's going to be the first Disney live action PG-13. Like, it's going to probably support how the, like, original one went. But, then then that's, then that got delayed. New Mutants, uh, it's getting delayed, pushed back millions and millions of times. Then the coronavirus pushed it back. It's like, how are we going to see the New Mutants if you're going to get delayed? Millions of times. And with Fast 9, I'm the most fanable franchise out of the whole universe. Like you see, this is the necklace from the Fast and Furious franchise when I went to the when I went to a to a Comic Con. So and Quiet Place 2, you probably wanted to see more of the well, here's with other of Fast 9. Like, you wanted to know, you probably want to explain how Han is alive when it's going to be pushed on Memorial Day, then it's like pushed back to April 2nd, 2021. Like, I know a lot of fans are furious and not happy about this, but I'm just sorry. It's like, everyone's going to probably be sad, suffering everywhere. Like, I don't know what else. But with um, Antlers, like, the whole... Like, when I saw the looks on a poster of it, it seemed like it's, like, you see, like, antlers everywhere. Like, you, just imagine, like, you're in a spike room. Then, like, you're going to be, like, more like, how am I going to go through this? Like, how am I going to reach this? Or, I'm not sure. But, I mean, we still got, so Black Widow's the last, still the last, still standing. Like, it's still not delayed yet. Wonder Woman 1984, still not delayed yet. Tenet's not delayed yet. Uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife, not de not delayed yet. Top Gun Maverick, not delayed yet. So I'm just giving you a couple of movies that are still not delayed, all right? Morbius, not delayed yet. Jungle Cruise, not delayed yet. Soul, not delayed yet. Candyman, not delayed yet. SpongeBob, not delayed yet, all right? And the best thing to do if you the coronavirus is coming, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Be like six inches away from people, all right? Just like giving a reminder of like if you don't want to get the virus. So, and the other ones, uh, Peter Rabbit 2, like, if you like the first one a lot, the first live action Peter Rabbit, that's fine because I haven't seen the first one yet, then I can probably have enough time to see the first one since I haven't seen the first one yet. I mean, the sequel is okay, I guess, but... Maybe it could be a good event in August. Or, uh... Quiet Place 2. Since, after you saw the first one, you probably wanted to know what's gonna be for, for a part 2. Like, the ending, I just didn't have, like how the ending end ending when it was like, Ch -ch -ch, then there's a part 2 coming. It's like a 2B continue. Like, I know how every time when there's gonna be a movie that's a part 1, like, you see how the ending is and gets like, That's it? Where's the rest? Like, you're gonna have to see, you're gonna probably have to wait a couple more months or years of how is this gonna all work, alright? So, and another part, uh, Escape Room 2. Like, I didn't like the first Escape Room, but maybe the second one could do good as the first, but it's gonna be moved all the way to December, which Escape Room 2 could be. Maybe an eventful movie, but that's, like, not going to work now. But since it's... You're going to have to wait a couple more months. So... I don't know how the summer anticipation... My top five summer anticipations are going to work if every... A couple of summer movies are getting delayed. So... There's just nothing else for four weeks of no new movies. Just, like, watch the same old ones, then... You're just going to probably be in the house just, like, waiting until this happens. So, it's going to be like, what now with every movie getting delayed? But, like, I still do the best of giving you more coronavirus news updates on Instagram and doing the best I can, alright? So, 
Like, if this virus is going to get more worse, more movies are going to get delayed. Like, if you don't want movies to delay, I'm sorry. It's like, the government, the corporate has no other choice. So, that's why the most couple of the worst delays would probably be Fast 9, New Mutant, No Time to Die, Quiet Place 2, Mulan, Antlers. I mean, I've seen the trailer. It looked all right to me. Uh, we forgot about with My Spy. That's pushed back a month, which... First, it was going to be in August, then it got pushed back to February, but then it got pushed back to March. It's like, what are you going to do? Like, are you not wanting us to see the movie or something? Like, we're not sure, because, like, Dave Bahista is doing, like, a, I think, like, a friend, family, kid comedy, I guess. I'm not sure. So, that is all I could, that is all I got, but maybe... I just by I just been like hearing a couple of requests like review a couple of classic movies like maybe I would review maybe I could review Goodfellas maybe Goonies or Bridesmaid maybe review classics since there's not going to be any other movies to watch like that's just going to be a problem so that is all I got so see you next time bye so like this is my thought about every single coronavirus that's been getting delayed everywhere, and I know everyone's going to get sick of this delays. I know I am, and I know you are, so we can just see how it all ends, all right? So, see you all next time. I don't know when, all right? Bye.